What a flash, Gordon, approaching. Good morning, my 365ers. It is day one of one of the most significant. There are some people outside there. Where are they going? They're probably going to work. Good morning to them. Good morning to you. Super excited you guys are here. This is it. This is the real deal. Uh, and um, let's, let, let's do what we need to do right here, right now. Right here, right now. Who loves that song? This is Hero Training 365. It's time to help you guys to become uh, the leader in your own life, in your own existence, for you to be the very, very best that you can be. And it's time to face some pretty big home, home truths about who we are and uh, what we are on this earth uh, to do. And um, sharing a group, and we're almost there. One day. How is everyone doing today? Give me one word to describe how you are right here, right now, today, how you're feeling, what's going on in your world. How are you feeling? One word to describe how you're feeling. How are y'all feeling out there? It's funny, whenever you do the main broadcast, something happens that doesn't happen when I do the elite broadcast, but it doesn't matter. Good morning, everyone. Give me one word to describe how you're feeling right here, right now, today. Thank you for being here. Tired, yes, ready, sleepy, woo! You know what? If an elephant came in the room now, you wouldn't feel sleepy. Well, you might do and go, can you leave the room, please? Yeah, wake up and realize that how you feel is a choice. Please write that down, how, you, how I feel is a choice. How you feel is a choice. So guess what? When people feel worried, sad, anxious, uh, depressed, lonely. In many cases, in many, many cases, it's because they are choosing to by what they are focusing on. So what are you focusing on right now? How many of you are focusing on this week, this week, this time, five days of becoming a hero in your own life? A hero 365 or 3.65. Just imagine if you'd gone to school and they taught you something that was useful. What did you learn at school that was useful? I don't know about you, but I did a language, French. I can't speak language. Why? Because you didn't immerse yourself in the language. We just did a little bit every week. That is not the best way to learn. The best way to learn without any shadow of a doubt is immersion, to immerse yourself in something. And that's what I ask you to do this week. Good morning, Jolene. What a great video that you made. Uh, amazing. What you have achieved with My365 is unbelievable. In fact, for those of you that have had success and become a hero, just write a few words right here now, right now so people can see what everyday people like you have achieved. If you've lost weight, if you've changed your job, what is it? Just type it out right here as we get into this main broadcast this morning. I want some other people here that maybe just look at this and go, what is this? This is your opportunity, probably the best opportunity you'll ever have in your whole life to become awesome, to become amazing, to become a better version of yourself. You want it so much, you even know that there's a gap. You know there's a gap between where you are here and where you want to be. And if you, you – yeah, a gap may be in your finances, a gap with your health and wellness. You know, there's a gap in just not feeling fulfilled, and you want to fill this gap. But you don't fill the gap. You numb yourself in many cases, and you become ordinary. Yes, just ordinary. Most of us just live an ordinary life. And then what we do, we escape. How do we escape? In many cases, we listen to other people's stories. We watch things like Jeremy Kyle and watch a story – uh, and realize, oh my God, my life isn't as bad as that, so my life is just okay. Or we watch movies which inspire us, or maybe you watch films which are so scary and disgusting and horrible, but it just gives you a, a little bit of stimulation. But what I want you to ask now, we are heroes, and we're on a hero's journey. So let's think about this. What is your favorite film? Thank you so much for all of you that are sharing this, you know. It's helped me become more present. Look at this. Believe in myself. I've lost over a stone. I have some amazing rituals. What else, what else has it helped you achieve? I've a member of, look, I'm a member of a society of authors because Gillian has decided to write a book. This is real. This is the best opportunity in the whole world, the whole world, for you to go to work on yourself. And this, at this moment in time, this is free. 
for you every day, Monday to Friday. But it's, well, look at this, lost five stone. You, you wouldn't find more people. Please share this because other people need to see this. That as we start to realize what is really going on here, what is this whole My365 thing about? And what are people doing? They are changing their life. They are becoming heroes. And now for many of you, you're becoming a superhero. So let's look at this week. What are you going to get out of this week? I'm going to show you exactly how to become a hero. What does a hero mean? It's someone who has a calling to do something, a calling to be slimmer, fitter, and healthier. Someone who realizes, I want this. I, I want to move away from something, maybe in the past. I've had enough of this. I want to move towards this, and I want to go for it. And that's become a hero. A, hero's, a hero performs miracles. What is a miracle? A miracle is not just a miracle of life. It's not something that mythical beings do. Miracles, if you look at the definition of the word hero, uh, sorry, the definition of the word amazing, no, the definition of the word miracle, I should calm down. The definition of the word miracle is doing something amazing and outstanding. And what so many of you have done here is outstanding, becoming present, becoming happier, becoming healthier. That's outstanding because so many people want it and they're not doing anything about it. You know how many people would like to lose weight? Do you know how many people would like to meditate and become more present in their life? Do you know how many people would like to write a book? Do you know how many people? Many people, but many people aren't doing anything about it. You've become a hero. And the word hero comes from the Greek word heros, which means the protector. That's what a hero does, protects. Now, I'm talking about first and foremost, you protecting yourself. So we spoke about this last week, right? We know my 365. This is the I. This is you, right? This is you, the I. This is your superpower. What is your superpower? Anyone know what their superpower is? Anyone know what your superpower is? Yeah, what is the my 365 combined weight loss? Uh, by the way, if, all, if any of you... Um, have lost weight with my 365. I'm going to be asking you to do something, uh, especially if you're coming to the summit. I'm looking for some photos. We want to show the world what everyday people have achieved. So look at your your gifts, uh, your love, um, your your superhero thing. Because what we need to what we need to do today, as most of you know, when we spend a week on a particular subject, five days on becoming a hero. We need on the first day to become more aware, become acutely aware of a few things because awareness is the first key. You can't change something that you're not aware of. So this is what I want you to do. I posted a question in the private Facebook group around the question of the day. Who are the heroes? What are, what are the books or the films that in your life have really touched you, right? That, that you've identified with the, the hero? Is it Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz? Is it Harry Potter? Is it um, Frodo in Lord of the Rings? Is it Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia? Who is it? There's another great film coming out soon called A Wrinkle in Time. I don't know how many of you have read those books. Uh, whether it's Alice in Alice in Wonderland. If you think about all of the characters that you identify with, Sylvester Stallone or Rocky, in, for me, Rocky III had a massive impact on my life. I, I watched it and I identified with the character. What we'll look at tomorrow is the hero's journey. If you look at all of these films, you'll see that pretty much they go, it's the same map that everyone, people living an ordinary life, they are called upon to adventure. And many times they don't listen and until something happens in their life, that forces them into a position where they go from an ordinary life to an unbelievable life. Why do we watch these films? We watch these films because they pull on our heartstrings. After I watched Rocky Three, I came out of the cinema, I went for a run. What did you do if you saw the film? Did you not feel inspired to overcome adversity? You see, look, let's just look back. Why did people ever tell these stories to people? to inspire them to do the same thing. People used to sit down, and that's what they shared, stories. They didn't share EastEnders because no one would listen to those stories. Children wouldn't listen to those stories, but yet we do. 
We watch things like Casualty, and I know I, I'm going to be careful what I say here because I know some of you actually work on Casualty, but it taps into the part of our brain that wants a story, but it's a story that never ends. It never goes anywhere. There's no characters there that we think, wow, you're an amazing human being. Uh, this is what happens. And these stories were told for you to take the story on yourself. And it's time, if you want to be a hero, to identify what is, who are you in this world and what is it the journey that you want to create? Does this make sense to everybody? Love Patch Adams. I absolutely love the film. In fact, Dr. Hilary Jones uh, told me that he met Patch Adams. Patch Adams was a doctor that thought, I don't want to practice medicine the way that everyone else is doing it because it, we're not really treating people humanely. Um, and that's where the red nose thing came from, by the way. That was Patch Adams that started that, using humor with children that were basically were dying of cancer. You know, It's time to look at things uh, differently. It's time for us to become, I, all I ask you today is to really ask yourself the question, do you want to become the hero in your own life? And I know many of you, you need to be heroes for the next few weeks because the, the kids are on holiday. And that's where for many of you, you have to step up like you never have to step up before because you've not only got to look after yourself, but you've got to look after we little ones. So I'm asking you to, to write it down and to decide that you want to be the hero in your own life. So quickly, right? The outcome of this week is to help you see the hero in you, make you become more aware of the cap what you're capable of. The story so far, you know, the story so far, you already are a hero. Look, you're here watching this. You don't have to be here watching this. You could be watching the news, watching something about nothing that, that doesn't really mean anything and you can't do anything about. But we want to think about the current narrative. What is the current narrative of your story? That's what I want you to think about today. Who are the heroes that you identify with and how are you doing them a disservice and how are you doing them a service? Listen very carefully to what I'm saying. Here are the who, he, who, who are the heroes that you admire in films, in books, and how are you um, doing them a, a good service by being like them and how are you doing them in a disservice? You see, we are all narrators. We are narrating a story in our own life every day. What are you narrating? What are you saying to yourself? Because it's time to change. I think I've lost the connection here on Instagram. I'm going to make a one minute uh, reflection. Goodbye, Instagrammers. Um, who's enjoyed this? If you haven't shared this, why not? Can you not see that people need to hear this? And even if you shared it, you know, and if a hundred people saw it, maybe one person would watch it. One person. But that one person, it could change their life. Let's go. One minute. Are you ready? I have no idea what I'm going to say, but we start now. This is day one of you becoming a hero. Hero 3.65. My goal for this week is to help you realize you already are a hero. You're on a journey. But what is the narrative that you're currently telling yourself? And if someone read that narrative, what would they think about you? What would you think about yourself? What is the story that you want to create in your life? People love stories. It's just they tap into stories that aren't going anywhere, like the news, like EastEnders, like crime programs, like horror movies, that tap into a part of our brain that wants to be a part of a story, but it's not a story that particularly goes anywhere. Years ago, hundreds of years ago, people told, thousands of people told stories to people so that people will identify with the story and do great things. You were put on this earth to do great things. You were put on this earth to be a hero. If you want to be a hero, show up every single day this week and let's be the difference in our lives. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Massive love to you all. Thank you for sharing this. And I appreciate it because you're opening yourself up to be criticized when you share this with someone. But does it really matter? Does it? Does it? Does it? What really matters? Your life. You identify with these characters because it's talking to you. The thing is that your life isn't 90 minutes or two hours or a trilogy or 11 films or whatever it is. Harry Potter, your life is more than that. You could watch all of the Harry Potter films, what, in 24 hours? 
you watch all the Rocky film, the Ram- Rambo films, our lives last a lot longer. And it's time for us to really go to work on ourselves like never before. See you tomorrow, 7 a.m. Have a great day. Lots of love. And uh, we really appreciate you. All the best.